And hey, well, this is Francisco from Wondershare Dr. Phone. When restoring your iPhone to its factory setting using iTunes, you're likely to come across some issues. Some are pretty easy to fix and some really aren't so easy to maneuver around. And in today's video, we're going to tackle two methods of fixing error 2005 and 2003, along with some other tips that could work for you. So let's go ahead and dive right in. And I'll make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to comment any of your questions down below and don't forget to share this video with others who could benefit from it and most importantly don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of our tutorials moving forward. Now let's move on with the video iTunes Error 2005 and iTunes Error 2003 usually appear when your iPhone will not restore persistently. And they can typically occur when you have downloaded the IPSW file for an iOS firmware update and you try to restore this file in iTunes. And as to why it happens, the reasons are varied. It can occur because of a problem with the computer that you connect your device to, the USB cable that you use in order to connect your device, and even a hardware or software failure on your device. Which is why now we're going to be moving on to method number one. Like we mentioned earlier, the problem could also be software related. So if you do all of the above and the firmware update is still not working quite as well, the issue may be your device and you, you need to go ahead and fix iOS on your iPhone. And to do this, you need a tool such as Dr. Phone System and repair for iOS that is designed specifically to do this job very efficiently. And now this is how that's going to be done. In the main window, after downloading the software, just go ahead and click on System Repair and then connect your device to your computer using a USB cable. And then the program is going to detect your device and then go ahead and select standard mode in order to continue from here. And then download the firmware for your iOS device and the doctor phone will end up just finishing up this process automatically. And as soon as the firmware has been downloaded, uh, the program will just proceed uh, to repair your device and the entire repair process should take only a few minutes and once it is done your device will restart it normally as it should and then you should be pretty good to go from there and dr phone is going to be one of the best solutions that they can possibly go for when it comes to repairing this issue now on to method number two itunes component corruption is the root cause of many scenes when itunes error 2005 or itunes error 2003 is shown and there is a very high possibility that you have also fallen victim to this issue in the past and when this happens you need an effective itunes repair tool in order to restore your itunes to the proper state as soon as possible now this is exactly how we plan on walking you through this entire repair process so after downloading the doctor phone toolkit just make sure to go ahead and install and set that up and then once you're finally in the main menu just go ahead and click on system repair and then on the next tab click on itunes repair specifically and then you're going to find a couple of options here. Uh, first of all, uh, let's just check whether there are any kind of connection issues by choosing repair iTunes connection issues. And then go ahead and click on iTunes on repair iTunes errors in order to check and validate all of the iTunes components. And if iTunes error 2005 or 2003 persists, go ahead and click on advanced repair to have a thorough fix. And then that should pretty much take care of that issue for you and you should be very much good to go from there. Regardless of why the error 2005 is happening, you can be sure one of the following solutions will end up working aside from the options that we ended up showing you just earlier on. And like for example, to begin with, just try closing iTunes and plug your device from your computer and then just plug it back in and then see if it works from there. Now, because the problem could also be caused by a faulty USB cable, go ahead and change that USB cable and see if the iTunes error 2005 or iTunes error 2003 will disappear. And if that doesn't work, then you can also just try switching USB ports because that can also be the issue at times. Now don't use a USB extension or adapter instead, like just go ahead and plug plug it in directly onto your computer in order to make sure that you're going to get the best kind of connection possible. Now try using a different USB port as well, just as I mentioned earlier. I mean, most computers do have more than just one. So you can go ahead and just try like a couple of them out and then see which one ends up working best for you as sometimes one USB port may not be working properly and you might have to end up using a different one for this kind of process in order for it to actually be able to succeed. And if all of the above don't work, then just try using a different computer. 
But if you don't have access to another computer, then do make sure to check to see if the drivers on your PC are updated. And if they are not, then just take the time to install them and then reboot your computer before trying this process yet again. And that's it. Those have been some of the best solutions for fixing error 2005 and 2003 if you end up coming across them. And if you like this video, do make sure to leave us a like and do make sure to comment any of your questions down below if you end up having any as well. And don't forget to share this video with others who could benefit from watching this. And most importantly, do not forget to subscribe with that notification bell so that you don't miss any of these awesome tutorials coming up very, very soon. And with that said, this has been Francisco from Wondershirt Dr. Phone. Until next time, enjoy.